at circles. I'm going to explain circles and tangents to circles, and then I'm going to have you look on your uh, GeoGebra. I have some fun little interaction things for you. So first of all, have circles ever confused you where the formula comes from? Okay. All they're doing is they're taking a point for the center of the circle and calling it HK. That's the center. Then they're taking a point on the circle, and it's x comma y. You, you, you got it. So the distance formula, which in this case, what's the distance between the center and any point on that circle? It's the radius squared is the change in y, x squared, x minus h, and the change in y, which is y minus k. So pretty simple idea this distance formula, where r is constant. Okay, So, you know, find the equation of a circle with the center 2, negative 3. So, no problem. We can go, there's h, here's k. So, x minus 2 squared plus y minus negative 3 squared will equal the distance, which is square root of 7 squared. There's your equation of a circle. Good? Okay. And uh, the general equation. Now, what's happening here is sometimes you're going to be given this in a form that you're not going to like. You're not going to have it nice and x minus h squared worthy. You're going to have to make it that way. So we're going to have to employ your favorite algebra technique of all time, completing the square. Remember how much fun that was? Love completing the square. Well, I'm not, um, I'm not going to do this example. I think I have some group ones that we're just going to do these problems together. So for the first one, it says, find in center radius form the equation of the circle with the property. So here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have Matt and Lauren do A and Christian and Adam do uh, B, and Emily and Matt Berg do C, and uh, Eddie, you do D, and I'll do E. All right, so now once we've looked at circles, now what we can do is take a look at tangents to the circle, and this is the part that's going to be a lot more challenging, but it'll make a lot of sense. I'm going to have you look at these two GeoGebra sites in just a moment. Would you just follow me first? Uh, external, when we look at a circle, we can look at external lines. That means they're coming at it from the outside. And um, external means that it's not in contact. That would be a tangent. And a secant line goes through the circle through two points. A lot of times what we're going to be looking at are tangents going to a point. And what can you tell me about this slope? Let's say this is 3 over 2. And the slope from the center, h comma k, what can you tell me about this slope here? Yeah, it's perpendicular, negative 2 thirds. So you're going to use that a lot knowing a slope of a line that's tangent, you know that slope, you can find the slope of the radius. But the question is, how do you actually find an equation with that? Find the equation of a tangent to a circle, okay, uh, knowing that you have a point on the circle and the circle equation. Well, what they did here is they generated the circle equation first. So the center for this is 4, 0. Now, the key part of this is we want to figure out if this is the center for 0, what's the slope from 4, 0 to 8, negative 2? Well, that slope is going to be uh, negative 2 minus 0 over 8 minus 4, which is just going to be negative 2 over 4 or negative 1 half. That is the slope of the radius going from center to the um, 
point on the circle, then what's the slope of this line going to be here? It's going to be 2. And once you know that slope, y equal mx plus b, you can find the equation of the line. That's easy, right? Yeah, that's easy. But let's say you have a point external to the circle, and you want to find the equations of the line that are tangent to the circle. Now, this is above and beyond anything that you've done before, but it's doable, and it's not even that bad. Okay, it says find the equations of the tangents from the external point P0, negative 4. Now, they they wimped out on you, I'm sorry, but this, this is kind of... 0, negative 4. This is... Um, this is on the y-axis. So when we're talking lines here, y will equal to mx plus b. What's b going to be for this particular problem? Uh, negative 4. Yeah, negative 4 because it's 0. And actually, both of these lines, y equal to mx minus 4, will have that same. So I just want to tell you where that came from, because that looks like it's out of left field, but it's all because this is a y-intercept. Kind of a weird thing. All right, so we want to find the equations of these lines. So in order to do that, everybody look up here, please. So you have this center, 5, 1, and they're telling you, well, once you get this, the, this equation here, you can see that the radius is a square root of 10, right? Okay, so you know this is 5, 1, and this is the square root of 10. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out what that equation of the line is. So <laughs> here's the cool part. This is the line, and this is the point, and this is the distance. This distance, square root of 10, is helpful in the formula uh, ax plus by plus c over square root of a squared plus b squared. Now, you're wondering why I showed you that problem two times ago? This is it. Okay. So follow what I'm doing here. This is the equation y equal mx plus 4. Do you agree that this is the equation we know so far? What's the only thing we really don't know? the slope, okay? So I'm going to rewrite this as 0 equal mx minus y minus 4. Eddie, are you with me? And then this is my a, b, and c. And what's the point we're finding the distance to? Here's the line. What's the point we're finding the distance to that's square root of 10? Isn't that just going to be 5, 1? How clever is that? So x is 5 and y is 1 and d is square root of 10. So let's do it. Square root of 10 equals a, which is m times 5 plus b, which is negative 1 times 1 plus c, which is negative 4, which just is coincidence for when they give us that y-intercept. It was nice of them to do that. Okay, then this is over the square root of m squared plus negative 1 squared. And how many variables do you see there? How many variables are in here? Well, let me simplify it for you. Square root of 10 is equal to 5m. Negative 1, negative 4 is negative 5 over the square root of m squared plus 1. Yep, and so now I can square both sides. And then can you get the algebra from there? This is what they did in here. And when you're done, you're going to get two solutions for m. 3 and 1 third. Those are the two values, 3 and m equal to 1 third. 
with the same intercept. Those are the two lines that tangent to the circle, tangent to the circle going through that external point. All right, so that'll allow us to find those two different problems. Well, let's, let's do these two group problems together. Find the equation of a tangent to a circle with this equation. All right, so um, see what you can do with 1a. I'm going to have um, u3 and u4 do b. Okay, u3 are going to do a, u4 are going to do b. Go. Just a quick little review you for a here. You want to put your x's together and you want to put the y's together. And you can leave the 17 here if you want. That's fine. So remember uh, puffin stuff from two years ago? Half and square. You don't remember that? Eight. Oh, okay. So half and square, half of six is three. Squared is nine. So you put a plus nine on this side, too. And then you take half of negative ten, which is what? Squared is 25. You've got to put that on this side, too. That's how you complete a square. So this will be square root of x squared is x. Square root of 9 is 3. If this is plus, this will be a plus. Square root of y squared, square root of 25. The middle one is minus, so you're going to have a minus. And then if I have... 34 minus 17, I'm going to get 17. What are you trying to do with this? Problem. We're finding the, the equation of the tangent, right? Okay. So what was the whole point of this? <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, we know that, yeah, the radius is the square root of 17, but actually that won't help us find the equation of the tangent. What we really want to know is we have one point, which is negative 2, 1. We have another point, which is negative 3, 5, right? That's the center. So this is going to help us find the what? Slope. So the slope is going to be uh, 5 minus 1 over negative 3 minus negative 2. So I'm going to get 4 over negative 1, which is the slope of the negative 4. What is the slope of the tangent line going to be? 1 fourth. And so now you just go y equal to m x plus b. And now, which do we pick? Negative 3, 5 or negative 2, 1? Which is on the line? Negative 2, 1. So this is my x and this is my y. 1 is equal to 1 fourth times 2, negative 2, plus b. So this is just going to be 1 equal to negative 1 half. I think b is going to be 3 halves. So my equation is y equal to 1 fourth x plus 3 halves. And let's check it in the back. I'm pretty sure this is it. Part two. Slope is one fourth. Oh, they did some weird kind of. I don't do it that way, but it's good. X equal negative four. Y equal negative two minus four. Okay, good. All right. So, part B, same thing. Part B. 
you got to find the equation of a circle, find the distance. Actually, this one's a little easier because it's 0, 3, I think. 0, negative 3. And you can figure that out quick. 